This seemingly unremarkable building is just one of Iran's carefully guarded nuclear facilities that is at the heart of one of the most important strategic challenges facing Iran and the West. It's known as the Tehran Research Reactor. This is what lies beneath the reinforced concrete dome. The nuclear core was equipped by the United States in 1967. Ironically, Washington and other Western powers have been trying to pressurize Iran into disclosing what happens here. This is a research nuclear reactor in Tehran and it's very rare that Western journalists are allowed access to it, but it's exactly the kind of site that international inspectors will want to gain access to. It's located in the headquarters of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, whose spokesman and deputy head of international affairs spoke to me in an exclusive interview. He was a key member of Iran's negotiating team with the West. I asked him if the recent deal was good for Iran and the UK and its allies. I think it is good for both sides. We don't have any other choice. The government would like to, to fulfill uh, its commitment as quickly as possible. That is why we have to take steps, firm, quick, but confident as well. Three years ago, the authorities at the Tehran Research Reactor were able to load it with nuclear fuel rods they had produced themselves. Just one sign of the progress Iranian nuclear technicians were making. Under the terms of the deal, international inspectors can ask to interview Iranian nuclear scientists, a highly sensitive issue. And this is why. This museum, a short drive away, commemorates five Iranian nuclear technicians who were killed in highly sophisticated car bombs and professional assassinations, which Iran says was carried out by Israeli Mossad agents. But as part of this roadmap, will Iranian nuclear scientists actually be interviewed by inspectors? Insisting on the issues such as inspections, interview, with creation of a lot of sensitivity here in Iran, with that, of course, insisting on that issue could be politically uh, you see, in the wrong way. You don't want it to look like it's like a court of law with an accuser and a judge. That's no, basically I don't think any country would like to have that condition. We have managed to find a way, a formulation acceptable for both sides, for the agency, Iran, and those countries who really want you see, to know the essence of the matter. And I think we have succeeded in this way. Iran acknowledges that reaching compromises with countries it once saw as sworn enemies is a historic turning point. But limiting Iran's ability to make a bomb does not mean it's not a major regional power, some would say the regional power, as these recent pictures testify. They showed tunnels at an undeclared location half a kilometer underground packed with long-range conventional missiles, all made by Iran's military industries. Little wonder the West thinks Iran is a country to engage with rather than confront. Engagement of a different kind is what ordinary Iranians seek. They want more British products in their shops and closer ties. The quicker the deal is seen to be working, the quicker sanctions affecting them will be lifted. Ragioma, News at 10, Tehran.